All right, y'all, so there's rumors circulating throughout the NBA 2K community that Sniper is overrated and it's not really needed on NBA 2K22. So, you know, we have to put this to the test. What's good, All City fam? I'm All City, and thank you for tuning in. Yesterday, we got into the rec center and I took the Sniper badge off. I want to show you guys the gameplay in real time with no edits so you can make an assessment for yourself on whether or not Sniper is really overrated. Do you really need the Sniper badge? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below i would love to hear what you think about the sniper badge i gotta be honest from what i've seen and my personal experience with sniper on low three point rating type of builds it's been a godsend i've been able to shoot lights out with the sniper badge but i gotta be honest as well it has always been the first badge that i upgraded so i never really got to test what it's like playing without the sniper badge as you guys see this player has a 91 three point shot do you guys think that the the sniper badge is absolutely necessary on a player who has such a high three-point rating it's questions like this that have been asked and it's questions like this that i hope to have answered with this video as always before we continue this video i would love to invite you guys to the number one nba 2k22 discord if you guys are looking for players to run with on nba 2k22 join our discord we would love to have you and i would like to set a like goal for 200 likes on this video hopefully you guys could crush that like go let's get right is sniper overrated i want to show you guys the actual footage of yesterday's gameplay my very first game playing without the sniper badge jump shots are key here so there's jump shot bases that have like different slightly early and slightly late make percentages and you got to keep that in mind they have different middle make percentages as well and if you wanted to find that type of information out mind you i'm going to be talking over this because i want it to play out in real time i want you guys to see these slightly early the slightly late and how they go in without the sniper badge but if you guys are looking for the actual percentages on a base whether it's slightly early make percentages slightly late make percentages or middle make percentages you can go to nba 2k lab and try out their premium membership if you guys would like to consider nba 2k labs premium membership so you can get those middle make percentages and slightly early slightly late uh make percentages you can use promo code all city and save yourself 20 percent it's some great information out there to help a ton of players become better on nba 2k 22 i gotta say from my experience yesterday without the sniper badge especially from this gameplay that you see behind me you're gonna start to think that man maybe sniper is overrated i can't deny the fact that on my low three point uh rating builds sniper just seems to be overpowered and i know a lot of you guys have witnessed sniper in action i know you've seen it out there you're just like man if that dude did not have the sniper badge on he would not have hit that shot so many times like you see somebody take a shot and they're big whites out there you're just like scratching your head in confusion as to why some of these shots go in and we know that's due to the sniper badge but more so we're talking about higher three-point rate shooters do these players with higher three-point attributes really need the sniper badge that's what we finna get answered here and if you guys see the gameplay as of right now i'm already three for three from three-point land without the sniper badge and i'm shooting slightly earlies and slightly late in this background clip here you're gonna see me go five for five from three-point range this actually you know what's funny is that i'm actually shooting at a higher percentage in this first game without the sniper badge than i've shot pretty much all week i've been having trouble shooting all week shooting really low percentages from three-point land and then the first time that i take off the sniper badge i shoot at a high higher clip it's just all too confusing do we really need the sniper badge you guys see i'm hitting shots let's see what this pulls up whether it's a slightly early or slightly late i just hit that corner shot and i do have help from badges like corner specialist but that's what we want answered do we need sniper if we could equip other badges to accommodate where we lack so for my 91 three-point shooter, you see that one's green there. That last shot from the corner was slightly early. That one right there was green. So this is without sniper. I would love to hear your feedback on the sniper badge. Do you think it's actually like absolutely necessary for higher three-point rated shooters? Or can you get away with it with those type of builds? I hope you guys found this video helpful and or informative. And if you did, please consider dropping a like on the video. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing.
subscribing as we intend to have a ton of 2K22 content coming your way. I'll catch you guys on the next video. Easy, y'all.